Good morning, Reavers. I'm Daniel from Coralus, and today it's Wisdom Wednesday, and today I want to talk about water quality. I think for every successful reef aquarium, it starts right here. And those of you who've been in the hobby longer than a day, I'm sure you've heard of an RODI system. If you're not going to your local fish store with jugs of water and buying, buying RODI or pre-mixed salt water for your aquarium, then you probably have one of these at home. And if you don't, you should probably get one immediately. Some of you may say you can have successful reef tanks without using RODI water, uh, just from using your well water or your city's water and you think they have a really good system. But if you don't know and you haven't checked, you could be having heavy minerals in your water that you don't even know, phosphates and nitrates that you can be adding to your system. And yeah, in the beginning your system's doing great because those levels haven't reached maximum capacity yet for your system to fail. So if you're starting off, you have easy corals that love high nitrate and phosphate water, yeah, of course you're gonna be doing well. So I recommend getting an RODI system and doing your research, it is great. Um, I recommend a four stage system. So if you don't know anything about an RODI system, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, stage one is a sediment filter. Usually you see these between five microns, one micron, and they basically filter out anything that's big, any of the particles that right away uh, the filter is strong enough to pull out. Then the second filter is going to be your carbon block, and they're usually between one and five microns. And you can have two of these if you want. Some people like to have a five micron and then go down to one micron. This will pull out any other impurities that your sediment filter didn't get. And stage three is going to be your membrane. Now this is, I think, one of the most important. This is where uh, one in four of your water is rejected. And you'll understand later on what I mean if you have one of these systems. So a 75 gallon per day membrane is usually standard, but you can also increase those to a higher if you want. You can also buy a pressurized pump if you want to increase and make more water, but usually for the average person, this is pretty good. So stage four is the DI resin. And a lot of people like to use the color changing DI resin. Me, I, I use it now because the TDS meter, sometimes I don't check it and the color change in DI is just so much easier to use. So you can actually see right away when it's expelled. I recommend having a TDS meter right after your DI resin. That way you can check that there's zero total dissolved solvents in your water and that your water is pure and it's ready for your salt mix. Um, you wanna make sure that this is completely clear because sometimes you can have problems and even in your RODI system, if you have phosphates in there or the water isn't clean, you can start to have other things grow inside your water containers. So having pure water, not only is it going to help you later on when you're dosing, because you do not want to mix certain things in your water because they can bind. Um, those of you who have ever seen salt creep or seen some of your calcium precipitate out of your water or certain places where you dose or the water is just not right in your tank, also magnesium can be a, a cause of that too. People with lower magnesium tend to see more calcium precipitate. So knowing your system, everything here is pretty much explainable. So if you do have a question, when it at least comes to water quality, it's a little bit easier to answer. So feel free, leave your questions or comments below. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. I will go into more depth each of these membranes and filters later on, but I kind of just wanted to give everyone just a quick clue on what an RODI system is and why you need it for your tank. Um, it's basically a long-term safety net so in the beginning, yeah, you can get away with not having it, but later on down the road, if you're a strong reefer and you've been in this hobby a while, and especially if your tank is bigger than five or 10 gallons, you're definitely, definitely gonna wanna have one of these. So see you guys next time.